there's um, a lady called Marsha Linehan who developed a type of therapy called Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, DBT. And it was one of the very few things that was proven again and again in multiple clinical trials uh, to be effective when helping patients with borderline personality disorder. And it's an interesting concept because um, she came up with one of the key cornerstone principles of DBT, uh, aside from using things like mindfulness, is this idea of radical acceptance. It means that whatever it is that you're experiencing, and whatever it is you've been through in your life, you radically accept all of it for now, for now. And we'll get into why that helps people so much in just a second. But I really, really liked the way that that concept paralleled Jocko Willink's concept of extreme ownership. If you get the book, and I recommend you do, he goes deep into the philosophy behind extreme ownership, which is basically for him as a, as a, a leader within special forces. What he teaches is if you're in a leadership position, whatever happens, you own it but it's taken to the extreme. So it's literally everything that happens is owned by the team leader. For Marsha Linehan, anything that has happened to you in your past, no matter what trauma, and everything that you're experiencing today, no matter how much you hate it, you hate yourself, you're in conflict with others, in conflict with yourself, a lot of things that people who are very emotionally dysregulated experience, you accept it all. For many, the temptation, and it's probably the, the cultural ideology that we've been cooked in for decades now, is to go back to, no, that's not true, because sometimes it is somebody else's fault. So in the military situation, sometimes the GPS didn't work and that's why we screwed up, or that particular soldier didn't report an injury and then we got halfway through doing something and found out his foot was broken. In this scenario, in uh, psychotherapy, we so, said, well, you know, I did experience terrible abuse at the hands of my parents and uh, something terrible did happen at work today with my boss or my boyfriend or my girlfriend or whatever. So, so things are happening to me. But these philosophies are not saying terrible things don't happen. They're not saying terrible things didn't happen, don't happen and, and, and won't happen. What they're saying is for us, it serves our purpose momentarily to say, whatever has happened and whatever is happening, I radically accept it for now. In a leadership position, whatever has happened on operation, whatever happened within that exercise, whatever happened within, you know, it could be in business or in at sporting events, I'm in charge, I take ownership of it, that these as, Philosophical positions are stronger than any other position you could take. And they're definitely stronger than a victim mentality over here or a blame mentality over here. Because you couldn't be in a leadership position in special forces and go into a victim mentality. You couldn't be like, oh, the weather was bad and so the GPS didn't work and the weather did it to me. But you could blame people. You could blame the equipment. You could blame the bureaucracy. You could blame your the people higher, whatever, right? And in this scenario, the victimhood mentality is also rooted in blame, but it positions you as a victim. This one positions you as an innocent by blaming others. This one positions the person as a victim by blaming others, by blaming external events. And this is a way of looking at the scenario. You say, look, nobody's denying. It sucks when your equipment fails. It sucks when the people on your team don't do their job. It sucks when you've experienced abuse. It sucks when terrible things have happened to you. But how should you approach this now as an adult in a way that empowers you? Radical acceptance is sanity providing to people who are really struggling with intense emotional flashbacks. Um, they're in, usually in internal struggles with themselves. And as they struggle, as they fight, they stay locked into the cycle and they get sicker, not better. There's no opportunity there to heal. But if we do radical acceptance, we almost get like a gap in the storm where the rain stops for a second, the wind stops for a second, and we can talk. We can say, okay, whatever happened, get out of blame, get out of, uh, get out of victimhood, whatever happened, just accept it all. I don't want to, I don't know, just accept it all. 
all of it, just for now. <sighs> okay, it happened. <sighs> it happened. It happened. I'm not fighting it. I'm not furious about it. I'm not sad about it. I simply accept momentarily that it happened in that gap. I reclaim agency because terrible trauma knocks us out of agency. It externalizes the locus of control. The locus of control is in my past. The locus of control is in the hands of the abusers. For this extreme ownership, it does exactly the same thing. The locus of control is in my infantryman's broken foot that he didn't tell me about. The locus of control is in the weather that affected the GPS signal. The locus of control is in the bureaucracy, the higher ups, the person above me is an incompetent and he hates me. But it's all external. But as soon as I say no, I'm the team leader, I take ownership for everything, I re-internalize the locus of control. When you are seeking to heal, when you are seeking to get things done, the only way you can do either of those things is from an internalized locus of control. I'm saying locus, L-O, C-U-S, not locust. Uh, the locus of control is where the power is in the situation. So am I experiencing as a human being that my locus of control is in the hands of abusers or bad GPS systems, or is it internal? Like the locus of control is with me. In your past, it wasn't. In this scenario, it wasn't. But where you are right now in order to move forward, it must be. This is where I really like because they're from such different fields, but they're actually coming up with very, very similar solution with very, very similar solutions that lead to exactly the same spot. An internalized locus of control that means that I can heal, that I can fix the scenario and move forward. I hope you found that useful. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and for your attention. And I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Cheers.